Greetings programs, Atari here, you there, and this is Sharp's Atomic Alarm Clock with Indoor Temperature. Now, I'm not going to do a review of this product. Actually, um, well, my, uh, my mother-in-law, she bought this, and um, she, um, she wanted it because it has the backlight, and uh, she, uh, you know, uh, the snooze for the backlight. Um, she, she missed the part that says it stays lit for five seconds to save battery life. So she asked me, she asked me, uh, can you make the backlight just stay on? Um, because she just wanted it to have, to be lit up at night uh, so she can see it. And uh, yeah, I'm weird. I actually kind of like my mother-in-law. Um, she's a sweet little Cuban lady. So uh, I said, yeah, I can probably do that. So uh, here I am going to attempt to do just that. Now, got the clock here, and uh, as you see, it's working, and we press the snooze button, and it will probably go off in just a second here. Yep, there it goes. But if I hold the snooze button, this is what I was thinking, uh, if I hold the snooze button down, uh, it's you know, been way more than five seconds, um, it just stays on as long as I hold it down. And then it'll go off probably. Yeah, there you go. So what I'm thinking is if I just, you know, bridge the contacts on the switch, it'll just stay on and I won't have a problem with it. Um, and then of course that will probably drain the battery. So I've got to figure out some way to um, provide power for this thing. So uh, first thing I'm gonna do is, well, I'm gonna get rid of these little batteries here. Runs on three AAA, so that tells me that it's probably a five volt-ish system. Well, it's probably a four volt system, um, but uh, five volts should not overload it, I wouldn't think. This is like one of those gnarly teardown videos, right? Um, and I think there's one more. Yep, right there. One more. Okay, put that on the back just, oh boy, back just lifts off like so. Okay, so what do we got in here? We've got GPS or atomic clock antenna, uh, batteries here, uh, beeper. I kind of want to take the beeper out and keep it, uh, but I don't think they will. Uh, and then there is... Your snooze switch, um, which is just two uh, little hack switches that I can probably just uh, bridge those contacts. A little bit of hot snot right there. Holding everything in place. This is some high-end build quality right here, let me tell you. Um, and then just some more switch plates and electronics right there. So it should all be okay. This is really all I gotta worry about right now. So. In fact, actually, actually, I may just be able to bridge these and call it a day. I think so. I think that is, that's what's going to run it. Um, so let's try that first. I got those leads uh, desoldered. Let's try this real quick. This might actually do the trick here. Okay. So it's coming on, and we should be able to just take these guys. Booyah! Ha ha! That was easy. So that means if I strip these wires back, that should solve our problem right there. Okay. So it decides that it's back on. Doesn't look like it's going to go out. All right, so that problem is solved. So 
while I'm here, I'll just seal that up real quick. All right, got that done. Next thing I gotta do is figure out um, what my power requirement is. See if five volts will do it. I'm pretty sure it will. Oh, look, there it is, uh, center positive. So I'm not gonna use this barrel jack. So I'm gonna clip that right off. Boop. Uh, the stripey one usually is the, uh, that's usually the positive one. Uh, but let's just double check here. Yeah. All right, white one's positive. One more test. Hold on your butts. And it works. Yeah, it has to run on regular power. I mean, it can run on batteries too if you unplug it. Um, but at least the light stays on and the batteries won't run down. So there you have it. Uh, now we have a clock that has a backlight uh, that <laughs> keeps this backlight on and uh, will not run out of batteries in the middle of the night. So uh, I would say mission accomplished, mission accomplished there. Anyway, um, so if you like this kind of stuff, uh, social media over here, follow me, the Airborne Surfer, Airborne Surfer. Uh, subscribe down here. Here's a video that YouTube thinks you will probably enjoy and um, newsletter or something or other over here on this side. My name is Atari and until next time, tally ho y'all.